Hello and welcome to Great Lakes University e-learning tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be about uh, um, student use of the e-learning system. Now, uh, for students, it's very easy. Once you um, log in to the e-learning system, all you need to do is take a look at the menu on the left side of the screen where you'll see um, it's written main menu, navigation, settings, and online users. You can scroll down a bit just so that you can see it a bit clearer. So um, the e-learning system is quite straightforward. Um, what you see is what you get. Um, if it says uh, um, site pages is just basically um, this the pages that um, the lecturers use to put up resources. Um, there's things like calendars, tags, and uh, those are keywords that are used in um, your day-to-day -day courses. Uh, blogs, if your lecturer has a blog, um, and any site news that is relevant to 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 you as a student. Um, you can also change your profile settings, very basic. Um, you can view your profile and and actually change whatever you need to change. Um, things like your pictures, um, a phone number, email address. And all these are important so that the lecturer can be able to get in touch with you. And uh, most importantly, you can be able to get in touch with the lecturers easily. Um, and as you scroll down, um, you'll see that there are messages that you can send to your lecturer. Um, you can also look at the courses that you're enrolled in. So the courses show up automatically. Um, in this case, this student is enrolled in. Um, if you if you scroll up on the on the, or rather if you highlight uh, the course code, um, you'll see the course name appears. Um, on the side. So in this case, we have artificial intelligence, business intelligence, and data warehousing, and lastly, interactive programming and technologies. And if you keep scrolling down, there's settings. You can change settings for your profile, edit profile, you can change your password, you can check or send any, any messages. And uh, if you scroll all the way down, you can see who is logged in. Um, in this case, there's your lecturer, probably, uh, who um, might, might have logged in in the last five minutes, um, and yourself. And also, you'll see the courses that you enrolled in on um, the right side of the screen. You have a calendar as well on the right side. And you have your basic login for um, for webmail. For those who have webmail, you can access your webmail on the on the right side of the screen. So that's the basic. Maybe just um, recap and looking at um, the the details. Um, probably we can take a look at one of the courses. Uh, you can click on the arrow for artificial intelligence and uh, you can see the participants if you click uh, and just wait a bit and you can see who is going to be in your class um, that can come in handy if you want to contact someone you just click on their name send them a message um, you can see whatever courses or whatever resources are available for for a particular week. This in this case, there's uh, some notes um, for the week starting from the 15th of September. Some reading material or reading assignment and uh, files or a file called introduction notes. Um, that is available as a resource for for you as a student. 
if there is any need to turn in an assignment, you can click on the reading or the, the name of the assignment. And uh, you'll see whatever the details of the assignment is. And also, if you need to submit, there's an area for submission. You can just click Add Submission, and you can submit your assignment instead of submitting it through email, which is the old tradition way of, of doing things. So in this case, everything works out within the system. You don't need to go outside the system to turn in any assignments. And even the grading, everything is done within this system. It's very convenient. You can send any inquiries through the system and your lecturer should be able to find, to get those email those uh, those those inquiries in in the form of an email and reply to them as well so thank you